Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Curtis with Show Up Lifestyle, and I want to talk to you today about mental health effects from this lockdown. And I know that a lot of people are getting stuck in watching the media, watching the news. You know, it's hard not to watch the news when you're stuck at home and you have this big pandemic going on that's affecting your life and you need to know what's going on. And I think it's important that we do know what's going on and that we watch the news, but also limit it. And a lot of people not only watch the news, but then you go on YouTube and you start watching conspiracy theories and all of this fear comes into play. And, you know, a lot of things are going on. You know, people are losing their jobs. They're staying at home. There's nothing to look forward to. There's all these problems, you know, suicidal thoughts. I know it's tough times for everybody, and these are hard things to say. But the reality is, is this is what's happening right now in not only America, but countries all over the world. So I want to dig into how we can prevent these mental effects that is happening to us inside of our brains. And I have four things that I want to go over. And I have them written down on this notepad. And I'm going to go over them and talk to you guys about what you can do so that you don't drive yourself crazy and get in this deep depression. Because it's very easy to do when, you know, you have all of this time on your hand that you're not used to. And, you know, things are hectic. And all you can do really is sit around and think about it. So... These are some of the things that I'm doing to help me in my journey through this whole quarantine. And I want to share it with you. So first is meditation. And I had stopped doing meditation for a while now because, you know, you kind of lose track of time and, you know, time goes by and you kind of lose track of it. But I started feeling depressed. I started feeling depressed when this whole pandemic thing broke out and, you know, plans got pushed aside. And a quote that I heard from somebody before was, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And for some reason, this quote really stuck in my head. You know, I really connected with this quote. And this was before, you know, the lockdown and all of that. So... I thought about it and then the lockdown happened and then it was like yeah I had all these plans and boom you know all these plans were kind of shut down because of this whole lockdown thing and it, it made me think you know you can't you know you can have a plan but things are going to get in the way but you have to stay mentally focused on what it is you want to do so meditation the reason why meditation is so important right now is because it gives you a chance to sit and think about these thoughts that are going on in your head, you know, and release those thoughts. And not only that, but it get, takes time away from watching the media, watching these conspiracy theories, watching all this fear that you're consuming and building up in your head. And it's the constant thought that's going on in your head about these fearful thoughts. So it's a chance for you to release these thoughts and get them out of your head. You know, meditation is important right now because you want to do that. You want to back away from all the media, back away from all the fearful thoughts, and just allow yourself to be clear. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, number two is journaling. Now, if you have a lot of negative thoughts, you know, it's going to be hard for you to stay focused on things that you want to happen in your life. You know, so one of the methods that I use is I'll write down everything that's bothering me, every fearful thought that I have, you know, and you write it down and you write it down and all these fearful thoughts start coming out. And what happens is, is you're allowed to release those fearful thoughts out into the open and get them out of your head. And once you write them down on paper, it's not something that you want to look at. So take that paper, rip it out of the notebook, crumble it up and throw it in the trash and that's how you feel and that's what you think about those thoughts and after that write down lists of what you want 
write down a question you want to ask yourself and make it, you know, things that you want to do. Make it your routine. Make it something that means something to you, something that you can work on, things that you want to accomplish while you're in this lockdown. And that will help you for this next step. Well, not the very next step, but the next step after that, it'll help you through this process. So number three is exercise and not just exercise anywhere in your house, but exercise outside because the fresh air, the sun, all of this is going to boost up your immune system. You're going to feel better. You know, a lot of the reason why you start getting uh, mental health effects is because your body is stagnant. You know, you're sitting down, you're not doing anything, and you have all this time to think and no way to release all this pressure that's built up inside of you. So when you exercise, this pressure gets released. You know, you're focused on your breathing, you're running, you're walking. You know, today I was jump roping, and that was extremely helpful because, you know, it's bouncing, it's getting everything pumping, and it's getting everything out of my system, and it's a real form of meditation. So go outside and exercise. Get fresh air. Get sunlight. These are the things that are going to boost your immune system. The sun is going to give you natural vitamin D straight into your body. So get outside and exercise. If you're not physically fit, go for a walk. Take your dog for a walk. Take your kids for a walk. Take your um, significant other for a walk with you. And, and just get outside and exercise and get fresh air and get sunlight. Now four. And this one's very important. So these other three steps, you want to do this sometime in the morning. Meditate. Clear your mind journal get all those fearful thoughts out and then throw them away journal again so you can create this routine create this plan to how you can go about your day in this situation right now because if you try to plan into the future it's going to be a lot of roadblocks right now because you're on lockdown you don't know when things are going to pick back up you don't know when things are going to get organized again so plan your day for what you can do in this moment right now and, you know, so you have those three and then you want to create the routine. You know, this is a perfect time if you have hobbies, you know, to start doing those hobbies. You know, start reading. Read on something that you enjoy. You know, start consuming ideas that inspire you, that lift you up, that bring you peace, that bring you joy. Get into spirituality. If you're a Christian, read the Bible. If you're Muslim, read the Quran. Whatever it is, read stuff that's spiritual. Read stuff on business. Read stuff on leadership. Read stuff on anything that's important to you in your life. And start getting in a habit of doing this. Another thing that I like to do, part of my daily routine, is right now, I have Audible, so I have Spanish courses on my Audible, and I will put my headphones on, turn it up, listen to Spanish tapes while I'm cleaning the house, you know, so this way, right now is a time where you want to be clean, you want everything to be clean, clean your house while listening to an Audible book, you know, Get in the habit of cleaning your house. Let's say, like this morning, I shaved. I shaved, took a shower, brushed my teeth. All of those things are important right now. Don't stop taking care of yourself. You know, take care of yourself. Take care of your house. Right now is a great time to organize your closet. You know, if, if you're a person who likes fashion, who likes to be fancy when they dress, you know, start putting together outfits while you're at home. Go in your closet, look at clothes that you haven't looked at for a while because they're just all piled up. Do your laundry, you know, and start putting outfits together and put them in your closet. Organize your closet, organize your room, reorganize your room, you know, place things different. Put the TV over here, put the bed over there. Do something to keep you active so you're not so caught up in the worldly things right now. 
And that's what I have for you guys today. So, you know, be careful in getting in this stagnant moment right now of just being in your head. And a lot of people, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on suicidal thoughts right now because I have a background of I used to drink a lot. I used to take prescription pills and that it was a hard struggle getting out of that. And I've gotten out of it for over a year now. And even more, you know, drinking has been over a year, but prescription pills has been close to three to four years, you know, and it was very hard during those times. And there was no pandemic going on. And I just buckled down and went through the stress and got through it. But if you're someone who's having suicidal thoughts, you know, don't get into drinking. I see a lot of people stacking, stacking up on alcohol, you know, for the lockdown and think, think that they can drink this problem away you're not going to drink this problem away you're not going to drug yourself out and get rid of this problem now is not the time to start drinking you know i'm really serious about this and it's just not the time to start drinking because it's just gonna put evil thoughts in your head you know and if you're having suicidal thoughts you know understand that this is just a phase in life understand that you can always make it through things. We are a lot stronger than what we think we are. Our bodies are made to fight illnesses. You know, I was looking at it the other day. I was playing basketball and I cut my hand open and, you know, my hand was bleeding, gushing with blood. And, you know, less than a week later, it, it healed. And I thought, you know, people think Wolverine is so great because he can heal so quickly and our bodies can actually do this we are wolverines we can actually heal ourselves you know people get flus people get viruses and our immune system builds up an immunity to these diseases and illnesses and we fight them so you know whatever it is you are built to last you know people run miles and miles and miles when at first they couldn't run a mile you know we can push through anything so never give up and that's my um lesson for today you guys please like subscribe comment and share and comment below if you have any problems if you have any questions and i comment back to everyone so please comment below and thank you for watching you guys